Welcome to another App Spotlight. This time we are covering Mini Gore 2 Zombies. So, this game is basically uh, John Gore, the main character from the previous games, and you are playing as him and fighting through waves of zombies this time instead of. And they spawn uh, and like drop from overhead from the sky, basically. So, zombies from the sky, whatever that means. And <laughs> there's all kinds of new bad. Uh, like bosses and stuff. Uh, they got mice, not mice, uh, that's the plural of moose, is what I was trying to say. And a bunch of huge lumberjacks. Uh, there's like a big white bunny. Um, there's a big Russian general that throws like uh, those round circular bombs, fake, uh, I don't know, you know, Warner Brothers <laughs> bombs with the fuse. And uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, chefs and penguins and like a lot of crocodiles apparently alligators stuff like that so yeah it's a boatload of fun uh new maps you know of course uh there's a lot more room in these actually and there's some like channels some of them are kind of like close together and there's a lot of like little tunnels so you can go all over this place it's pretty cool um there's some new stuff like uh this this app is 99 cents but you can when you go into the uh, you collect coins and treasure chests and all kinds of stuff from killing certain bad guys, and then you uh, go into the store. You go over and you stand on this little target, and the guy, the guy, <laughs> there's a guy on the like the front porch of this little building, and he flies up the flagpole and like hovers into the air when you go by. So I guess the zombies can't get to him. But if you stand on that launch pad, uh, you will teleport into the store or the shop and purchase your weapons uh change your character you can unlock new characters of course as the, as in the previous one and uh buy buy weapon now you have to unlock weapons apparently unlike the other one where they just randomly spawn uh yeah you you purchase weapons and there's even a sheep launcher so yeah exploding sheep that sounds cool there's perks uh you can unlock new bad guys and new like areas to go in to and yeah, pretty much a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you can check out your character, uh, even purchase more, more coins. But I mean, who does that? I mean, you can get so many. Uh, you can upgrade your your weapons as well in the shop. And <clears throat> so another thing that I noticed was once you've unlocked a weapon, and it gives you an item drop uh, as a box in the form of a box. Um, you can go over and pick it up. There's even these special new ones I'll get into. It's like, uh, they're like, I've heard green things. Like, certain characters, okay. Certain characters will have like, they're, they'll have like pink mist or blue or green mist coming off of them. And that means certain drops. So when you kill them, you will get those drops. So like the blue one drops this little blue star mystery thing that will give you a little guy, like a helper, a sidekick for a short while. with a He has like a cowboy hat on and um and then the green one drops like a saber or, like a big hammer or a a big axe or you know a sword there's some special weapon like that that lasts for a little while and uh basically anyway so when those things drop or guns and stuff you can uh, actually destroy them uh by shooting at them of course but y as long as you if you walk over it it will swap with whatever you have and you basically have a like a low powered axe that you use uh defaultly when you run out of stuff and it'll switch to that and then it'll drop whatever you had so instead of when you pick up you get that and then it runs out and it's gone you can like shoot uh, use up like half of a half of a machine gun and then drop it for another one and then come back to it it's still half so you can kind of save weapons if you do it right. So that's that's actually a cool idea. I like that. There are also uh, health packs that'll be dropped, and a lot of different things. Um, of course, the old clover leaf system is back. You rank up as you get more kills and points. And there's a there's a little thing in them like the pause menu that's very very uh, <laughs> very. Jo Jetpack Joyride isk esque like a half brick studios kind of nod uh, style achievement or like what do you call that uh, challenge system 
where you could, you know, kill ten of this type or, you know, defeat this this boss, certain stuff. Uh, you know, there's even one early on that's like, a, there's like little, they're almost uh, similar to like achievements where it says go touch the, like, uh, it's called Tree Hugger and you go touch the, some kind of enchanted tree or something. And so you have to find out where that is on one of the maps. And, uh, yeah, it's cool stuff like that. Once it finishes, it gives you coins for those and it moves on. And, let's, and it has three at a time, it shows, and then you can unlock new ones each time one goes away. The control system is about the same. You can turn on or off auto-aim. It has the same analog stick and fire button. And, uh, yeah, you start out with three hearts, and you can buy more. I think they're 10,000 a piece, uh, I believe. Or uh, maybe not quite that much. <laughs> this seems a little atrocious, but I don't know. It was something expensive. And, uh, yeah, it had more. I'm not sure if that's temporary for, like, each game. That would kind of suck. But, uh, I, I hope, hopefully it's a extra, like, a, you know, a continuous thing once you bought it. It it has some, uh, characters from the old, uh, the old game that they brought, they bring back every once in a while. But, you know, basically it's all mostly new stuff. There's even, like, uh, ones where you, if you kill them, it not their head drops on the ground, the larger blockheads. And then you can, like, hit their head and it'll, like, knock it around and shoot blood everywhere. It's a pretty gory game. And that's, I guess that's why it's called mini-gore. But, <laughs> uh, not as mini as you might think. So, but anyway, they knock the heads around and it takes, like, several hits and then it'll finally explode. It's weird. So, I guess that's a little something. And, yeah, so basically, it's a fun little, uh, shooter that you can, you can get for 99 cents. <laughs> and it's by Mountain Sheep. It's the developer, and, uh, yeah, I think they did another great game. And I sh suggest you check it out. So, that's on the App Store. <laughs> Why not? It's a great little game, uh, in case you are, uh, I don't know, you know, after after school, you know, and you don't have anything else to do, you know, all the cartoons are off the TV. <laughs> I don't know, do they have cartoons on TV anymore? I have no idea. Anyway, <laughs> okay, I'm rambling. That's about it, and I will try and get back soon. Bye. <laughs>